Hi everyone, so seeing as we are coming to the end of the year, I thought I would do some like rounding up type videos. Obviously we've got the 2019 favorites that is coming your way very soon. Um, but I thought I would do like a rounding up style wise as well and basically review my last 12 months of haul videos and tell you whether they were good purchases, bad purchases, how the things held up like quality wise, what I now feel like they're like, would I buy them again? And basically just do like a nice little review, like tie it up with a bow. <laughs> Good to go. Um, so I'm gonna be reviewing last year's winter haul. I haven't done my winter haul for this year. It's probably gonna be more like a January type haul. I reckon if there are a couple of bits that I need to pick up, I need to do like my winter switcheroo. That is gonna come in January for you as well. But then in this video, I'm also gonna look over my spring, summer and autumn hauls. So I've got the list here and actually, I feel like we've done pretty well, but there are some things I definitely haven't worn as much as others, some things that I now wouldn't recommend given the quality of them and how they've like deteriorated over time. Um, so let's get started with my winter haul. I uploaded this last December, kind of around this time of year. So all of these things now I've had for a solid 12 months. And the first item was the And Other Stories Camel Silk Shirt. This is something that I still own, that is up in my wardrobe now. And I'd say I've got a decent amount of wear out of it. It's nothing to do with the quality of this piece. And um, I'd say the silk shirts from Under the Stories are really brilliant. They are gorgeously cut, very chic, and they don't have any pockets over the boobs. So you get a very nice, like clean line from them. Um, and they're just really easy to wash. They hold up really well. They don't crease very easily. So overall, the quality is brilliant. My issue with this piece and with any piece that isn't like really black or white um, is like the sweat patch situation. I always talk about this. And this kind of color is a tricky one when it comes to sweat patches. Obviously I don't sweat as much in the winter as much as I do in the summer. Um, so I feel like I can get away with it and I do wear it often, but I feel like there are moments where I kind of would wear it, but I don't because I know that it's gonna show sweat patches. So that is always a thing when it comes to color in my wardrobe. I love the tone of it. I love the color of it. I think it like really suits like my hair and my eyes and everything really well. I feel great when I wear it, but that is just a concern for me. So I would say that was like, a mediocre purchase, not one that I would like run out to go and get again, but one that I do appreciate having in my wardrobe. The next one again is from Under the Stories and this was their Camel Cashmere Turtleneck Jumper. Um, so this is currently still up in storage because I'm gonna get this out as part of my like real true winter capture wardrobe, whereas I currently still got all my autumn bits in there. Despite the fact it's freezing, I really should get around and do that. I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed wearing this. I love that it had that turtleneck kind of situation, that like little roll neck, but then was quite oversized everywhere else. It wasn't too tight, I didn't feel too constricted in it. And again, because it was the same color as the camel silk shirt, it was nice to have that tone in my wardrobe, but not in a sweat patch situation kind of thing. Because it wasn't too tight under the armpits, it actually hits quite low, like the armhole. So I felt really, really comfortable wearing this and incorporating this loads into my capsule wardrobe. So I'd say that was definitely one of the better purchases that I made in my winter capsule. Then I picked up the Celine Vintage Silk Shirt. I got this from a place called Time's Up Vintage in Copenhagen. It was so cool, one of the best vintage stores I have ever been to. And fantastically, they also share their stock online, which is great, so I will link that down below for you. I would say I didn't wear this as much as I thought I would. And I can't really work out why. Maybe it's because it's vintage, it's Celine, it's it's really delicate, it's like a beautiful piece. So I feel like the washing of it, I'm not like, oh, just like, bung it in the washing machine with everything else. I have gone to get this dry cleaned and I would continue to go get this dry cleaned. So for me, it's like a bit of a faff cleaning wise, which is perhaps why I didn't wear it as much as I thought I would. Um, and it's a shame because it, it, it's a gorgeous piece and there's like this real lovely pattern in the silk. Um, it, it's beautiful. It's unlike anything else that I own. It's currently again still in storage because it is part of my more like winter stuff. I wanted to like save it for special and so it feels really nice when I get it back out again. Um, so definitely not the best purchase I've ever made in terms of being something that I like wear so much. I get so much wear out of it, but it does feel special. And this year I vow to wear it 
even more because it is such a beautiful piece like that with some like black leather trousers, mm, perfection. The fourth thing that I bought in this haul was from Norse Projects. I also picked this up when I was in Copenhagen. And um, I think that's something that I really enjoy doing. And I know there is this whole like sustainability movement we're trying to buy less, but I do really enjoy buying clothes when I'm somewhere like new. Copenhagen was brilliant for style brilliant for fashion. I'm going to New York for New Year's. I feel like there might be a couple of purchases there just because they feel special. They feel one of a kind, especially if it's a brand that you can't get online. You can get Norse Projects here in the UK, but I've never ordered from them before. It was their Ajo brush jumper in Burnt Sienna. They don't currently do this anymore. I'm so happy I bought this. I have worn this a ton. I'm sure when you see the cutaway, you'll be like, yeah, that jumper. Yep, yeah, you wear that all the time. I've got it in my wardrobe right now. And for me, I love the oversized fit of it. It's just like easy to wear. It's very, very baggy. It's very oversized. Um, but I really love the color of this. I think that's what really drew me to it. It's a gorgeous, it is burnt sienna. It's this chestnutty, rich, orangey brown. It works in my wardrobe so well. Basically, Everything but one thing from this haul that I did last winter was like brown. And I'm really pleased that I got that color into my wardrobe because I feel like it now makes up quite a lot of my wardrobe and it really breaks up the bulk of wearing black all the time. And um, so that was a fantastic purchase. So, so happy that I picked that up. So the end of the story is Camel Cashmere Turtleneck Jumper I wore a load. The Norse Projects Jumper I wore an absolute shed load. But the best purchase from last winter was the Whistles Faux Fur leopard print coat like come on of course that was number one I was so happy in this video like the smile is like from here to here on my face I had finally found the perfect leopard print coat and it is perfection um I wore this a load last winter it's currently in storage right now um but it's going to be coming out and I like, I think about it. Like, I'm like, oh, maybe today will be the day that I do my winter capture wardrobe because I want to be reunited with my Whistles faux fur jacket. It is perfection. It's one of the best things that I've bought. Gorgeous quality. It has lasted really well. It's warm. It fits beautifully. It's it's a statement piece in my wardrobe, but it's a piece that makes me smile. So 100% that was the best thing from that haul, still in love with it, still over the moon about it. So my winter haul was back last December and then I didn't publish my spring capture wardrobe haul until April this year. I guess that was probably because of the daily edit. It probably pushed it back a little bit, but I ended up picking up three things and I feel like these were all really, really good things. Really good things. Um, the first thing was the LM, the Raisin Raffia bag. Oh my word, like I wore that bag all summer, like all summer long, I was wearing that bag. Um, I bought it because it seemed like the summer version of the Loewe puzzle bag, which is what I wear basically day to day, especially in the winter. And it kind of was, like it was a really good size. I could fit like a book and all of the things that I'd need for like a day in London in there, like my camera, two cameras, like my purse, my phone, a battery charger, all those things so easy to throw in there, always had a bit of space. Um, it's just a very like comfortable bag to use. I didn't really use it with the strap at all. Like I didn't really wear it like over my body. I definitely wore it as more of like in the elbow crease or just like holding it. And um, I wasn't so crazy about like wearing it, um, but I, I wore it loads. That was a really, really, really good purchase. I'd say that LM is a really good brand to look at if you want, you want like a treat yourself purchase, you wanna get like a fancy bag purchase, but you don't wanna spend like an absolute shed load, like four figure situation. Um, I'm really, really happy with the quality of it. It still looks brand new and it's material. It wasn't even leather, the bulk of it. So I feel like it lasted really, really well. The next thing were the Gani Cali Croc Effect leather ankle boots. Um, you would have seen these in so many videos that I've done recently. I think I mentioned them in like my 10 best winter wardrobe investments. I'll link that video up there for you. Um, these are bloody brilliant. I wouldn't say they were the most comfortable shoes from the get-go. They definitely required a little bit of breaking in and they are quite high. Like they are quite high for me. They're less than the Dear Francis boots, but I still feel like they're a slightly more formal situation for me. It's not like I'm not wearing them going out for like brunch at the weekend or on a day when I'm going to be doing a shed shed load of walking. Um, but I, I adore these. They are so great. Um, they're quite like a statement boot. They're quite big. They're chunky. They're like this patent leather, like mock croc. They're kind of in your face, but I, I feel like they've really seamlessly 
worked into my wardrobe and they work as a really fun dressing up piece. So very, very tough with those. Then I picked up the retold vintage blazer. Um, so this was just like a white, very like George Michael Wham-esque blazer. Really thoroughly enjoyed wearing this over the summer. I feel like I didn't wear it as much as I could of. I'm still getting used to like the shoulder pad situation. Um, I love how it looks like in photos and I love how it like makes the overall outfit work. I do sometimes feel like I look quite wide in that situation. So it's something that I'm still trying to feel like a little bit more comfortable with. And I think because it is white, it's very like, hello, it's not black. It doesn't kind of fade back. It really sort of stands out. So that was something that I'm still working with like, Personally, I feel like I could have got a little bit more wear out of that, but I really loved having that option and I feel like oversized blazers is definitely something that I want to explore more in my capture wardrobe. I feel like this year I picked up way more vintage pieces than I ever have before and it's been a really like fun experience to try and find places online, like places in person, places when I travel and I've really enjoyed like finding some gems. So this is definitely a gem. Happy that I picked it up but feel like next year I can take my wear of it to like the next level. So I posted my summer haul up in July and I had five pieces in this haul, like the winter haul and my summer and my autumn hauls this year were three pieces but summer was five. I feel like summer and winter for me are like my big moments where I feel the need just to get like a couple of little updates, whereas more like spring and autumn and more small updates in my wardrobe. Um, so summer haul started with the mango strap top in beige. Now I feel like I wore this a load in photos and I like loved how it looked in videos. This was tricky to wear <laughs> in real life, I have to admit. Um, it was spaghetti strap, so like wearing a bra underneath it, tricky. And it, it was quite like flappy, quite open. I'd say that the straps on me were maybe like an inch too long. Like if the straps were maybe an inch shorter, I would have felt a bit more covered up. I felt like every time that I like leant over, literally my nipples were just like hanging out. They were there, they were there. And obviously I do a lot of like traveling around and like on a tube. Um, yeah, I didn't feel 100% comfortable wearing this. I really saved this for days when it was so hot, so sweaty. It was brilliant for that, really, really good for that, but I definitely didn't get as much wear out of it. Um, I think I'm gonna look into shortening the straps because I really enjoyed the color, like I enjoyed the cut of it, I really like how it fitted, but that was a bit of an issue for me. So I'm definitely gonna look into shortening those straps and just getting a little bit more coverage in the breastage area. And <laughs> um, the other thing was the ASOS double lined strap top really enjoy these they're such like a summer basic they're not fancy they're not like a oh that looks so expensive piece they are just a basic but they're a basic in my wardrobe that i wear quite often i felt like i got a good amount of use out of it and i just feel very comfortable in these they actually have an adjustable um, strap on them so i felt like i could always like put them up if i wanted it a little bit higher if i wanted it a little bit lower you can kind of move it around looks really gorgeous with like necklaces like a nice little layering situation going on so I feel like that is a true basic. They've worn really well, they wash really nicely. Very, very happy with those. Um, the next thing is a mango essential strap top in black. And I have to say, I do not recommend these. I think it was four pounds, you know, a bit of a bargain, very affordable, but it hasn't lasted at all. Um, like the elastic under the arms kind of shows, you know when it goes like a little bit, like it's a black vest top, but underneath the armpits, it's gone a bit like yellow and frayed and yeah, it just doesn't look great quality. I feel like it looks a bit shabby, it looks worn and there's no real way of like rectifying that when you start to see like all the elastic, like kind of worn out and like on the top of the fabric. I wouldn't recommend this style. It's been demoted in my wardrobe to more of a like layering underneath a top. Actually, I'm wearing it today. I've got it under here, but it's a good like layering piece, but I wouldn't wear it in the summer on its own when you can see it. In my wardrobe, it's definitely now just purely for layering or like sleepwear. Um, so I feel like next year I'll be looking for a really solid, like tight vest top situation, black, white, perfect. The next two purchases from my summer capture wardrobe were by far the best, by far my most worn. The Realization Par, the Iggy dress in yellow polka dot. Now, if I had a penny for every time I wore this over the summer, I would be picking up another one of these. I wish they did this in more styles. I love the style of this. I find the style so flattering, so like sexy. And I don't ever really own things that make me feel that way. But this, this dress is pure sex. It's brilliant. I wore it to the beach. I wore it layered with like 
a shirt over the top, like just out for lunch, like wearing it as more of a skirt. I wore this to weddings. Um, I lent it out to my friends so that they could wear it to weddings. Um, I wore it on holiday, like when we went to Lisbon, when I went to Mallorca, it was perfect. I'm genuinely sad that I like can't wear it as much in the winter. Um, you can wear it as a skirt, you can layer it up. I mean, it's brilliant at that, but it's not the same. Like I really just love wearing it as a dress. And I wore it so much with my next purchase, which were my Tiva original universal sandals. Like they are the ultimate kind of like granddad shoe. <laughs> like Mark has had them for years and I've always like taken the, you know, out of him and been like, no, no, I'm sorry. They are just not, they're not for me. They are not my favorite shoe that you wear, really not. And then I bought a pair and then I had to like take back everything rude that I had ever said about them because they are really, brilliant um i don't know what it is about them they are they are really quite ugly like they're an ugly shoe but they're very practical <laughs> god i feel like i'm my mum here they're very practical and like throughout the summer they're just what i wore like now i'm wearing these chunky boots all the time and then in the summer i just wore these chunky old sandals all the time um i i don't know what has come over me practical chunky footwear is just my thing these days obviously um, but I loved wearing them to kind of granddad out an outfit. You know what I mean? Like I'd wear the realization part and then I'd wear them with my Tiva sandals and be like, cool. <laughs> definitely not cool. Definitely not cool because I've done that. Um, but definitely the realization part, the Tiva sandals, by far the best things I purchased this summer, wore them an absolute ton. I feel like it's always a bit tricky to review my most recent haul when I do this type of video, but my autumn haul, I picked up three things and it went live two months ago. So that was in October. The Arquette oversized cotton shirt in black. Thoroughly enjoy that shirt. I feel like I regret not sizing down. Um, I feel like I definitely should have got maybe a size smaller, maybe two sizes smaller because it is very, very oversized. And I feel like the fabric of it isn't as malleable as the white one that I have from And Other Stories because I feel like I can kind of tuck that in and it sort of like disappears. Whereas I feel like when I tuck this in, I feel like number one, there's a lot of fabric and it is a bit stiffer. Maybe the ability to move and tuck it a bit easier will come with time and as you wash it and it sort of loosens a little bit. But I would say that I don't wear this as much as I wear the white shirt from And Other Stories. I feel like maybe that is to do with the fact that it is black as well. Obviously me and my coloring and my hair color wearing the white shirt, it, I just feel like it brightens and like brings everything up. But obviously when I wear black, it like takes it all back down. And in the summer, I love wearing white. In the winter, I obviously prefer wearing black. But yeah, maybe it's like that. Maybe it's just that I don't feel like as bright and zingy like when I wear that. And um, I feel like when I record these videos, I always tend to wear more like lighter fabrics just because it looks like nicer on camera, brings a bit of light to the whole thing. So maybe that is why I haven't worn it as much. Um, so definitely more of like a 50-50 purchase, not one that I've worn as much as I would want to. Um, the 90% times net sustained black and white t-shirts, Still really, really enjoy these. Um, I don't know why I haven't learnt my lesson with buying expensive white t-shirts because already there's a little bit of staining under the armpits of the white one. Black one looks great, looks brand new. White one, mm, mm. <laughs> I think next time I probably would just pick up the Arquette uh, crew neck t-shirts, which are like 12 pounds when it comes to white t-shirts. I'm more happy to invest in a black t-shirt, but a white t-shirt, Learn your lesson, uh, woman. Like, tell me next time, tell me next time. Anna, don't waste your money there. <laughs> You're a sweaty girl. <laughs> the final thing that I picked up was the Theory Wall Blend Jumper, which is perhaps my favorite thing that I've purchased in this cooler period. Like, oh, oh my word. I've worn this so much. You would know I wear this all the time. <laughs> if I'm ever filming one of those, like trying on colorful eyeshadows for the week, I'll link that video up there for you. I'm wearing that in pretty much like every day. Like that has become my go-to. Like that's what I pick up. Then I wear like leather trousers, jeans, or like my leopard print denim with it. And then like, that's that, like I'm, I'm good to go. So that was a bloody brilliant purchase. I feel like it's washed really well. It's held up really well. I have had to debobble it once, but I wear it pretty much every day. And it's definitely made me want to buy more like biscuity color things. I think that's like a good color on me works really well in my capsule wardrobe. So I feel like if I was to make any more like chunky knit purchases anytime soon, that is definitely the color that I would go down. I have to say, I do have some ideas for my winter capsule and I think they revolve around cardigans mostly. Um, I don't own any other cardigans aside from my big 
oversized and other stories ones and I feel like that will give me a little bit more distance in my current like capsule wardrobe setup I feel like I can go a little bit further with things by like layering that over the top so that's definitely something that I'm looking into if you've got any cardigan favorites I'm all is but I'd say overall I've had a pretty good year of hauls a pretty good 12 months here um I really want to up my vintage quota I definitely want to buy more like pre-loved secondhand vintage things I feel like I want that to be my primary source of like incoming goods <laughs> and there's definitely a few more like summer basics that I could nail like that's definitely not my like comfortable happy place when it comes to styling um so things like that mango best top that's just ended up being a bit pants um I feel like there's definitely a few purchases that could be made there next year but overall super happy with where I'm at with the capture wardrobe there will be a winter switcheroo coming for you very very soon probably in the new year but that is pretty soon now Oh. Keep an eye out for my Chicago stuff too. The next two videos are that. So you will be having a packing video and then also a Chicago vlog and a little mini US haul. Might have gone to Sephora. Oops. So that'll be coming for you next and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.